We can start maybe with Un Jardin sur le Nil. Why it's my fave? Because I like the Hermes quality, definitely. And Un Jardin sur le Nil is something that it reminds me, it definitely reminds me of grass around the river Nile in the Egypt. And the mango note, it's so prominent and so soothing. And that's why I like it and I bought it after the Un Jardin sur la Toit, uh, which is, here it is. Un Jardin sur la Toit is, it's more sweet, has more apple, pear sweetness, which I don't like wearing during the summertime because it's too much of sweetness to me. But I like it, wearing it during the winter time, just to remind me uh, summer season and sunny days and that much more positive vibe of the of the summer of the summer season. Uh, so that's the Un Jardin sur le Toit. You can wear it any time and any season. The same with Un Jardin sur le Nil. But to me, Un Jardin sur le Nil is much more practical to me, and it's not that it's not leaning to feminine so much as the Un Jardin sur le Toit. Sur le Toit is more leaning more towards feminine side, according to me. So these are the the two ones. Put them in the put them in the back. <coughs> As a third one, uh, we have Colonia Intensa here. It reminds me definitely reminds me Italian classiness and Italian classy upper upper class style and reminds me Italy as well I mean the air the architecture the culture the shores and shores around the Lago di Garda definitely and you can see how much I wear it during the year and a half so it's definitely uh, non-offensive it's a bit more spicy but to me it's the best from the uh, col colonia line i mean from the, all the colognes that aquari parma offers so it's my most fave more for daily using and that's what i like so colonia intensa as another one what we have here is Colonia Assoluta, which is now discontinued, made by Jean-Claude Lena, together with one guy. I thought, what I reckon is Colonia Intensa is made by uh, the, the guy who made lots of things uh, from CK, uh, and he, who made the fragrance one for Jeremy, who's that? Uh, Alberto Morelas, he, he was co-working with somebody, uh, I don't know, maybe Francois de Machy, I'm not sure, but the the, the same is with Colonia Assoluta, it's, it's uh, and work and co-working co with somebody, but it's work maybe or an art of Jean-Claude Delana and the other guy. But uh, the smell itself, it's even more classier and more upscale than Colonia Intensa. But Colonia Intensa mm, seems to me more practical and not that offensive. And maybe this has one of the, or, or a old school or a bit more vintage vibe here. But it's good if you're not over spraying that. So I put it in the back. Yeah. As the other one, 
we have equipage geranium. Equipage geranium is um, something that you surely know as a collector. We can compare it with original equipage, which I bought it last January. And the difference between two of them is that uh, equipage geranium is much more modernized version of uh, original equipage from 70s or early 80s uh, made by Guy Robert uh, who made it uh, for the Hermes and it's more leathery and more masculine powerhouse uh, of, of late 70s or early 80s and it has it still has that Hermes classiness and Hermes legacy. And that's why I bought it. I definitely don't wanna do I wanna lose that that fragrance and I don't wanna I don't wanna sell this fragrance because it's kind of an artistry or and the part of the the perfume evolution I mean, inside of the Hermes house. And I like it definitely when I, when I smell it. It's, it's a classy thing and something that I always come back to and smell it. And it reminds me of Hermes legacy and classiness without any sweetness. And what I don't like is the the sweet fragrances even on a man i don't uh the note that i like is vanilla lavender cardamom these are the things that i like but and like kind of the, the the fresh but interesting colognes and the difference between the original equipage and the new version is the equipage geranium is more greener, more lighter, and uh, it doesn't have that heaviness as the equipage has. So, in compar in comparison with the original, the equipage geranium is modernized version of uh, made by Jean Claude Elena, and. It's, it's a kind of modernized version uh, of, of the original equipage. And, but yeah, it's more greener, lighter, <clears throat> and for formal or off, it's, it can be, uh, and it is office fragrance for sure. So that's the thing. As another one, we have the all the orange word here. Something uh, that I like. I, I like the all the Hermes colognes for their simplicity and practical using. You can use it for any kind of season, every day. It's not offending anybody because it's made from. Uh, the, the the whole philosophy of the making the the Hermes colognes is uh, they are made from at least from the two or three notes and I like that that they don't have the 20 uh, 20 plus notes or 10 plus notes which is sometimes a mess and redundant thing so what I like is the simplicity uh, what Jean-Claude Elena creates uh, or created when we uh, he was um, the uh, was a part of the Hermes uh, Hermes house inside as another one for the springtime and for the summer season as well is all the pamplemousse rose definitely something very pleasant sparkling, mm, uplifting, soothing, not distracting you. 
It's something that I like. And Voyage DRMS, it's something that is well known for everybody who uh, who collects the Hermes and who knows who knows the line of Hermes is so as you can as you can see and you can know uh, Voyage to me uh, even if I have a, the EDP version I like the EDT version for a bit more during the summer season and for the springtime EDP is perfect has more cardamom it's more spicy more denser more darker greener or has a more dark green effect and what I like about EDT is the is the same thing like with all of these guys it's a practical thing you can day you can wear it for every day and it's not offending anyone around you and it's pleasant for me it's practical you don't have to think about the notes because it reminds me an atlantic ocean so it's so nice it's easily easily wearable and it's a cool thing to have in your collection and definitely not a generic thing like the thing in today's designer perfumery as the last but not least is the Mercury Panaria that I bought last summer in Vienna and it reminds me it reminds me the the Italian shore I mean around the I mean the west western western coast or the west coast of the Italy like towards the France and towards the Côte d'Azur uh, it's easily wearable thing and it smells like it looks I mean like the color of the bottle something between the green and, and, and blue ocean uh, it doesn't it doesn't have any of kind of the ISO super or something it's not aggressive it's it's pleasant if you're not over spraying it it doesn't have any old school or vintage vibe at all so it's practical to to even blind buy it so it's probably the most preferred cologne from the blue mediterranean mediterranean the series and the line although i have the the Ficari Almalfi as well. And on the comparison with Fico, Fico is fine. Fico is, is also fine. And I like it, but. I like all of them. And all of these guys you can wear every day. And they are not going against you. They helped you just to uplift your mood, and that's why I prefer them. And it's because of the passion to the perfumery. And that's what I like the most about collecting. That's it. That's, that's probably everything that I wanted to say today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.